It's the Joe Padula Show, Clarksville's conversation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just down to a few more topics. Oh, here. you forgot to take away weed for children. Oh, we'll have to do it again then. Uh oh. <laughs> if it goes on there. Oh, COVID nineteen. Oh wow. I think this is rigged. COVID nineteen camps. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> This is what we should have started off with, but <laughs> let's take a look. This is crazy. Have you guys heard this yet? No. no. Is it like summer camps? Can I send my kids? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> send camps. your kids away. They don't come back. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. Hello, mother. Is this how they're going to uh, ha- uh, populate Mars? German quarantine breakers to be held in refugee camps, detention centers. Is it really wow. Germany? Mm-hmm. Oh, where have we heard this before? Germans have the that's best camps. That's a bad look. Where have we heard this before? Way. Way. Very, oh. this before. Oh. Very efficient. All right, so Germans... they got the train tracks laid down and everything. <laughs> oh, my God. God. Germans who reportedly go. refused to quarantine after being exposed to COVID-19 <laughs> will be held in detention centers. I'm getting this from the New York Post. Now, uh, even under a police guard, and this is according to reports... So officials in the state of uh, Saxony, which is experiencing one of its worst outbreaks in the European nation, they, uh, they already approved plans to hold quarantine breakers in a fenced-off section of a refugee camp. Wow. Another uh, state in Germany, Brandenburg. Oh, the Brandenburg Gates. That's where Ronald Reagan gave his famous speech. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Well, he said that Brandenburg Gates has plans to use a section of a refugee camp for its COVID-19 quarantine camp. Another one, repeat offenders in Schleswig-Holstein. That's the name of the place. Did you really just do that? Yeah, not bad, right? I am super impressed. Mm, Das is good. Yeah. (laughs) Well, repeat offenders. As a German, I approve. Absolutely. Guten Tag. And then I ruined it with an absolutely. (laughs) Absolutely. So uh, repeat offenders will be kept in a special area in a juvenile detention center. Okay. And uh, the report also says that the, uh, let me see if I can get this one. The baden will make the good. Okay, that was not so good. Has two (laughs) hospitals with rooms to hold the, to hold the, uh, the, the scoff laws, which will be guarded by police. Yeah, the centers are aimed on detaining only those who break lockdown even after being fined. Okay, well, hold on. That, that changes it up a little bit, I think. Maybe, no, sort of. not for me. If but, only New York City had that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, for those darn folks that kept violating the... The mayor's orders. I he could uh, the the uh, the the non legislative the, the, the guys that dressed in the funny hats and stuff mm-hmm. with the kept, hiding their man refusing their, their isn't their, it a little bit the same though? I mean, honest question. I'm not being sarcastic. Um, but isn't that kind of similar to the whole non autonomous zone thing they had going on? Chaz, I, I'm asking because you, the you Capitol guys Hill know autonomous me zone. Here's my know. question. Here's my question. I need more beer. Is this coming to the states? Your predictions. Lawyer Wayne, what do you think? No. No? No, no. We wouldn't we wouldn't ever dare because we are a good people. We don't violate these mandates or woman dates. We when you know when our, our leaders <laughs> tell us to do things, we generally speaking, you know, go along with it. Now that you said that, yeah. what is the woman opposite dates. of what you just said? The opposite is is well, then, you know, I think we've had internment camps before. That I we seem did. to remember some Supreme Court cases about them saying it was fine. Japanese, Italian Americans, and in the same way, Colorado. Remember? So I guess if we can Signed lock by you who? up for being Japanese, we can certainly lock you up for being uh, COVID unfriendly. A, Rob, a women to that. Rob, what do you think when you hear something like this? Mm, depends on the sector where they're talking about. Yeah. If it needs to happen, it needs to happen. That wouldn't be a violation of any constitutional rights? No, it would definitely be a violation, but we're always talking about the greater good. You have to define what is the greater good against the this, you know, your your moral duty to stand in juxtaposition against what is best for the nation is. We all we do that every day. It's right. not, it's really not a violation of anybody's rights. 
Oh, it, it would be if you're uh, if yeah, you're throw, well, if you're if you're thrown into well, a concentration camp, if, as yeah. a lot of but, people on one we, side of the aisle like to call d- them. We did it before for the greater good. We do it all the time. So. And was when that did right? We do it before though. Japanese, 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 oh. Japanese Americans, Italian Americans, yeah, and a Colorado. Yeah, we got uh, uh, Musubi allegedly signed by uh, FDR. By the way, I was. I mean, it's it's important for us to to stand outside of ourselves and say what is for the greater good. We do it all the time. Yeah, James. I really like Utopian Harvest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, your beers. Um, yeah, I think it's absolutely wrong. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to... Well, why? I, why do you think it's well, wrong? Well, I think, it, like, like you're saying, it's an infringement on your constitutional rights and your civil liberties and freedom to move about and to, do, to be you. Um, the virus... Uh, we have ways of controlling that. We have an educational process that teaches people what it means to quarantine themselves. Why should the government uh, feel that they need to pluck every person with COVID-19 and and take them out and put them in a camp? Well, this, my, I just don't get that. These camps aren't limited to people that are COVID positive, are they, though? This is that's a, different. Th- these are uh, violators. Actual quarantine is fine. And that's always been, you know, if someone is, actually has the disease, uh, telling them you're not allowed to run around and infect everybody else, mm-hmm. no one no one has a problem with that. We're talking about COVID protocol violators is what I heard. Yeah. That is, uh, I won't follow your rules because I don't want to. Yeah, he, he read, I, I remember where he had read exactly that, where they've already been given the warning and they've been fined and they still refuse to quarantine at home. And so now they're going to go and take them and put them into this tight run security so let's area. say Biden, just to be the devil's advocate, let's say Biden does his whole, um, hey, we're going to quarantine for six weeks, right? Okay. Across the United States. Somebody goes out without a mask. Yeah. Right? All of a sudden, you're in violation because he, he put a mandate out there that you were going to wear a mask. Uh, depends. So you could be cited. We, we here, here in the States, like an executive order such as that would have to come down from the States. Well, that's that's true. However... He is putting into place, he's going to sign a, an executive order that requires Americans to wear masks for where the first states, 100 days. Where states could oh, only say... On federal, only on federal. On right. Federal. Where right. states could go, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Exactly. Well, what's, they could, but they could do the other the other side of they that. Could. Oh, could sure they could. Right. A, right. a governor or a mayor mm-hmm. could, uh, could issue an order See, like that. So you're, you're Let's say we did it in Clarksville. Let's say our mayor said, you know what? You violate my quarantine orders, I'm putting you in a camp. Uh, yeah. Uh, Downtown Commons is now. Uh, we're going to make everybody hang out there. You there. Go. Yeah. Well, there's and already so there's already been people up. that have been arrested in Nashville and fined in Nashville. But we don't have the camps yet. Don't we? Yeah, don't, he says. Don't yeah. we all we Good, already do that? Isn't that what we call laws and order? I mean, isn't that law and order? Well, define the law because laws are passed by legislative bodies. Okay. That would be tough. To, voted on. That would be tough to pass as a law. But right. We could do it as a as a mandate or a woman date. Okay. And, and that's and then, what, so, stop so, that. so here's. <laughs> A man, a woman. A man, a woman. So I'm not sexist here. I, I would say, I would say, let's look at who who has successfully beat the virus already, right? How did they do that? It was either voluntary, you know, uh, collaboration across a country, or it was forced mandates executed by the government, right? Do, do, I don't agree with that. Okay. No. Well, well, uh, it, who you're else? You're saying who beat the virus is, is it, the only people that listen to laws. Is either is either people who were mandated to listen to the laws and had a for a, people who beat the virus for people who beat the virus yeah. no you mean what's, it got better or wait like what's yeah, what's your definition of beat country, the virus whole countries like why did why is New Zealand such a great country that beat the virus okay can I ask you a question then I mean, oh, this yeah. is an honest question if, okay look where where did it start right. I mean, not to China? start crap. China. No, it's Thank the U.S. You. military. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it started in China. Probably, probably from LBJ. Now, here's China. the thing. Okay, it started in China. What did China do that mo- what, or, or most Asian countries? What did most, bleh, I can't talk. Thanks, this is great beer. Most Asian countries do that nobody else did. They wear masks, right? So how is it that the whole virus started there and imploded and, and killed so many people, but yet they were already 
putting these 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 precautions in place. Well, China's make already sense. won. They already beat the virus. I looked they it did, up. But oh, yeah, how, the yeah. They did, but how? I looked at their yeah, numbers. Of course, they're zero. They're zero. Yeah, well, yeah. Rob, you're, you're bringing up New Zealand, okay? Uh, why, why, why do you say New Zealand is, is a great example? It's just for low count. Low count of active viruses. Right? Yeah, but look at it. Well, so is Hawaii. But like Hawaii what, right now, it's well, it's a, because they and, enforce. And what do they have? They, in, what do they have in common? Because they enforce mandates. They're both islands. Yeah, but they enforce yeah. the man. Yeah, but it could with, kill with small population. But it could kill an island very quickly. And also in New Zealand, enforce, they have. They know that if they don't quarantine and keep their people in check, or set of a virus that has a ninety nine point seven survival rate. Well, you don't know until it's on your island. I and mean, New Zealand is a good point. I hear you. The pretty island, archaic. Islands, islands are very could have been worse. Yeah, I mean, or I think it could be worse if you're not well, on an island. Well, think about this: if if this virus, from let's say this virus had a a ninety nine percent death rate. Let's flip it. Mm -hmm. Right. If we knew the, the corona, if a new virus came out tomorrow, you know, COVID twenty twenty one, right, and it had a ninety nine percent death rate. If you got it, you're going to die most likely. Right. We would, we would, be, we would be very comfortable <laughs> with with very strict laws saying if you have this, if you don't voluntarily lock yourself away. Mm. Men with guns are going to come and put you in a box until you're better. Yeah. Or okay. Die. But that's not the situation we're looking at. That's the, that. That's why this is controversial. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's you because need the the threat, the perceived threat of this is so low to the general population. And when we hear things like, "Oh, we're going to take away and put you in camps," we're like for what? For something that's less dangerous than driving without a seatbelt? Come on. Yeah. Right. But if this were serious, if this were like Spanish flu style serious or worse, you know, and that's why I, I, I'm worried that. This virus, because it's so, for lack of a better word, safe. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's not that bad. It's also very unstable. Someday we're going to have a, re, a a real pandemic. You know, something with a you know five yeah. percent death rate, 10, 20 percent. Yeah, the mm -hmm. bird flu is going to. We're gonna, we're, this was the well, crying I mean, wolf. Yeah. We're going to look back on this and say, ah, oh, it's just like coronavirus, and then we're all going to die. Well, this, you've seen the theories, this, right? But this is the thing: we should always treat any rapid pandemic the same way. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I disagree. What it, well, I, I, well, I disagree with you. No, so that's this good is that we what I'm saying because right. you need to you need to start getting into the into the methodology of understanding that by doing this you shorten the lifespan, you save people. I get the I get what you're saying by having a template. I, I get that. Yes, yes I, I, I understand yes. that. You're right. Yes. Protocols. No doubt about it. Protocols, but it's also like it's it's socialization of the process, right? You. If oh, you, that's too close to socialism. Uh, yeah, that no, word. it's socialization. Oh, that's a little of close. Process, that, that's right? ooh. Yeah, of the process. Though. <laughs> when you say there's a pandemic, yeah. it should trigger something in your brain that makes right. you think, I have a civic duty to protect people, no matter the uh, death rate, no and matter the... And we I'll have call, a civic... I call it natural selection. The, uh, uh, and I understand that <laughs> but, part, and yeah. I got a question about that to you in just a moment, Bay. And, and, and Rob, the... Um, the word pandemic will get dumbed down. I, I truly believe politicians, whenever you give them enough power, they, they will definitely want more and use it. And trying to get that power back from them, <laughs> lawyer Wayne, <laughs> trying to get that power back that you give, mm -hmm. that's tough. That is tough. To get the power that has been given to the governors of New York and Jersey, get those poor people up there. Good luck. Good luck getting that back. But but I hear what you're saying mm -hmm. on having the protocols. But if that protocol means giving up so much freedom and rights, that's an issue. Okay. Then at what percentage point of death fatality of any virus are you willing to start giving up your rights? Let's see. Hmm. I made a mistake after 9-11 because I, I was naive. I was just the Patriot guy. Okay. Okay. Which is... Hey, spy on me. And I was back in the day, a young guy. And I was like, yeah, I'm not doing anything wrong. Tap my stuff. Read yeah, my emails. Look what happened. Right. I was wrong. I was wrong. You know who's right is Chris, Chris Early. I mean, again, this guy, I love this guy. Uh, he says, those that give up freedom for security, you deserve neither. Well, yeah, I was just about to say that. So thanks for jumping yeah. in. Yeah. Sorry, that was Chris's fault. Right. One, one, He's a listener. You one know. liners. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, and I hear you on that, but okay. it, it, and that's why it's always got to be debated. But this, there's always got to be conversation the, about it, and having just a set template and following that set template, that it, it's it's got to be moldable. It's got to be changeable. 
It really does because each different situation is a different situation. I have no problem with things being dynamic, right, and, and addressing things as they come up. But the prob- but what we know is, is that following very strict mandates, whether it's seventy five percent death rate or two percent death rate, will stop it immediately if you follow the mandate. Uh, that's not exactly true. That's either. not true because then how do you build that, herd that's, immunity? That's not facts. That's pure opinion right yeah. there. How could you possibly allow a virus to multiply and contaminate people if they are not in contact? Because Rob, it's a virus. This is an airborne. It's not going to die. Now, now let me ask you a question about AIDS. It's not going to die. How, how does it? How, how does AIDS? a virus how, how live do without stop a host? The spread of AIDS? You know, you don't have sex. You know what I'm saying? You don't share yeah. needles. What right? about Ryan you know, White? You know what I'm saying? He was a, a nine-year-old child who had blood transfusions. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, that, that before all that testing. Yeah. Right. Blood, so. blood, blood-borne, blood-borne diseases are easier to control. And Absolutely. when we think about something serious like AIDS, for example, it you know we have some pretty strict ideas about how people with AIDS ought to behave. Oh. They ought not to donate blood. Right? right. They ought not to engage in unprotected sex. And if you don't tell needs. somebody, isn't it actually considered like attempted murder? In Tennessee, in there's a crime of knowingly exposing someone yeah. to AIDS. How do we how do we stop Ebola from spreading? It's also a blood borne by disease. not going to the Ebola River. True. <laughs> right. For sure. Bathing in the Ebola River. Right. In Africa, in the in the Ebola virus outbreak, it is very common for that community to bury their dead. They bury their dead. They get infected by coming in contact with blood from those people. So what do our physicians go in and do? Do not do this. Do not touch your dead. Do not do not bury when them. When it's something as serious as Ebola, I understand that. But when it's something like take the the COVID-19 where her- herd immunity mm-hmm. is, is really one way of really overtaking this. Yeah. Uh, I mean, well, then well, here's if they where don't touch many, the dead, what do you? What if that was your grandmother? Would here's you where you're sort of rot? on the same page. If it but meant I think, that I was going to rot, I mean, I mean, what what, what are we talking? All right, about? I, think, we, I think you're sort of on the same page. We got to move forward. We got to move forward. It's a sliding scale of okay. how serious the thing is. You know, Bay. Here, last question, Bay. Real quick, <laughs> uh, you're told you have to go to a concentration camp for. Uh, for COVID nineteen, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> no. That that's America. That's the majority of America. No, I no. got I got my choice. Okay. If you if you it, sit saying you don't want to go out, don't go out. You got the choice of doing stuff. That's a part of the when you're born, mm-hmm. and you know you got the choice to have a job. You got the choice to get married. You got the choice to have kids. You choose basically everything you do in life. Got the choice to pull out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. It's the Joe Padula Show. Out of Bing. Clarksville's conversation.